All right, guys, we're going to do gowning and closed gloving double gloves. As you can see here, my makeshift operating room, this blue line is representing my mayo stand. And then this blue is representing my sterile back table. Okay. So I have my gown, my indicator gloves, which are green, and then my top gloves. So I'm going to open my peel packed sterile top gloves onto my sterile back field. Okay. And then I'm going to open my gown. I have a wonderful circulator today. So envelope wrapped, you're going to open it tab towards you. So my tab's here, so my tab goes up and over, side, side, and down, making sure my edges don't fly up. And then I'm gonna open my indicator gloves onto my wrap with my gown. Now I'm going to go scrub. So I'm going to grab, use my pinchers. I'm going to grab my towel and step back. Open up my towel. Put it across my hand. Fingers. hand and then blotting down my arm not going back up I'm going to come under my towel and drop bring my other hand on top do it again dry my fingers dry my arms and I'm standing so my arms are out my butt is out making sure not to touch anything around me when I'm done I'm going to throw it in the trash I'm going to step up I'm going to grab my gown and step back. Now on your gown, you have your taco shell, as I like to call it, and your smile. This smile faces you in your chest. So you're gonna put your fingers inside the cuff, open it, step away, let your gown fall down, and you're going to put your arms in and then your circulator is going to come and tie you up while they're doing that you may start to put your indicator gloves on making sure your fingers do not come inside this white cuff i like to bunch them up so i have fingers hands i can use you're going to open up grab your gloves when you pull your gloves out, you're gonna see there's words on them and you have your fingers. This one little random short finger is your thumb. So I say words down, so the words should be on your palm and the finger should be going down your arm and your thumb should be where your thumb in the gown is. You're gonna take that thumb in the gown, go under the cuff, take your other hand, grab the top of the cuff, push your fingers into the glove, and pull the gloves down. You may adjust your gown if you have to. Don't pull too hard, they will rip. Okay, once that's done, get your fingers close but not into the cuff. Grab your second glove and you're gonna do the same thing. Words down onto your palm, fingers down. So thumb should be on your thumb. Grab under that cuff, grab on top of the cuff, push those fingers in, pull down, and adjust. Okay. Sometimes you don't dry all the way, it gets a little difficult, that's fine. Now you're gonna walk over to your sterile back table you're going to put your card on top of the table. 
you're going to put your second pair of gloves on. For me, it's easy to do it the way you would open glove. I hold it, stick my pterodactyl in, and slide my fingers in. Being that you already have sterile gloves on, it doesn't matter what you touch. That part of the glove, there's no unsterile or sterile part when you're gowning and gloving. Same thing, pterodactyl inside the glove, just my fingers, pull it down, nice and comfortable, making sure that the white of my gown is not showing. I like to keep it above my wrist. <clears throat> now you're going to grab your card, the left side, left side is your short side. You're going to pull that off right side your long side that's what you're going to hand to your circulator as you see the card is two-tone that little blue area is the safe zone that's where they are allowed to grab you're going to hand it to your circulator they're going to walk behind you and you're going to grab your string they keep the card pull your string out and tie there you go you have gowned and double gloved.